Hello YouTube. Here's an earlier Schaefer pen, the Imperial 3, featuring the touchdown filling mechanism used in many other models. For a few decades, Schaefer explored mechanical complexity in pens. The snorkel remains the most complex pen ever made. The touchdown is much simpler, but it is still a lot more complex than most other pens for using the core technology of the snorkel. In an earlier video, link below, I talked about some technical aspects of fountain pen design and engineering. As I pointed out, those using a rubber sack are fundamentally identical. A sack is compressed and it pulls in ink as it returns to its original shape, like a turkey baster. The multitude of designs devised over time were just methods to compress this sack. An earlier method did not depend on mechanical compression, but instead used air pressure inside the barrel and around the sack for sack compression. The use of blows into a hole at the end of the barrel to compress the sack, but this blow filler design did not become mainstream. The touchdown mechanism, as in the snorkel, is essentially a blow filler. An air pump inside the barrel, think of a bicycle pump, is used for generating this pressure. When you fill it, you undo the knob at the end and pull out the pump tube called the touchdown tube. Dip the nip into the ink bottle and give it a smart push. It is best to keep the nip submerged for about 10 seconds to give the sack enough time to recover. So the touchdown pump mechanism is effectively bolted to the back of a regular pen. But to make it work better, the sack is in a perforated steel protected tube which prevents the sack from flopping about when the pump is operated. Like any pneumatic system, effective seal against air leak is very important. Over time, the main air seal at the end of the barrel would deteriorate, much like the ink sack itself. The pen would not function unless these rubber items are replaced. In terms of effectiveness, I have a suspicion that the touchdown mechanism is as good as can be. I doubt if the amount of air pressure generated by the air pump is sufficient to compress the sac completely in order to achieve a maximum fill. But if a pump produces a high enough pressure for the purpose, it might be significantly bigger than the sac itself. So a compromise had to be made somewhere along the way. Taking another step back, the touchdown mechanism may or may not be worth its extra complexity, but it is still an interesting example in fountain pen engineering. Thank you for watching and bye for now.